Hello everybody and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create an outdoor dog potty area or a bathroom area. Uh, we are getting a dog soon, a little puppy soon. Finally found a good breeder on uh, puppyplacer.com, but i um, super excited to get one. We just don't want to see a bunch of landmines everywhere. So we want to target this one little area. We have a little side area in our backyard that we are excited to have the dog only pee and poop in. So we are getting it prepped up and ready to go. So there's a couple different options that we were looking at as far as uh, materials. And there's a couple things that you can do. You can either do some kind of mulchy type stuff, which is kind of similar to what we have already here. Um, just kind of like some wood mulch or some uh, black uh, like rubber mulch that you can do as well. Um, you can do synthetic turf as well, uh, but that takes a ton of prep work and that's not something that I was uh, ready to do uh, financially or just time-wise. So we ended up going with um, pea pebbles. So we think that this is the best option because it doesn't hold the odors uh, near as much as some of the other materials. And so uh, I'm going to show you guys how to get it done. All right, so one of the first steps in starting this project is defining where you're going to be working. So um, it could be a big backyard and you just want to plop one piece of your area to target um, this potty area. But for us, uh, we have this uh, about two feet wide by 20 foot long section in the side of our yard uh, next to our AC unit that we want to uh, use for the potty area. And so... Um, Doing this project, uh, I just want to go through all of our materials in depth. Um, so first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, taking out all of these weeds with our little cultivator here. Uh, maybe a little bit different for what you guys are doing. Um, weed killer uh, works really well, but I really want to tear this uh, apart beforehand because I think prep is one of the biggest pieces to this puzzle. And then we have uh, a bunch of weed killer that we're going to spray a ton of um, after we uh, clean up these weeds a bit and then we have our screen here a weed screen and we're going to plop this guy down um, after we spray the weed cleaner down so that we can get a nice uh, level area where uh, no weeds can come up and pop up uh, where our pebbles are going to be and then because of our square footage here we got about 10 bags of these pea pebbles here so about 10 bags of these and we were debating on uh, what type of trim that we wanted to do and we found uh, the one that we think is going to last the best is going to be this wood trim uh, there was this nice little white picket fence one as well uh, at home depot but uh, ended up going with this and just just these two materials alone really uh, is about two hundred dollars and we also have these little black spikes as well uh, that i'll show you guys a little bit later in the video so let's get started. So we are starting here with the cultivators. So I wanted to make sure to kill all the weeds all the way down to their root and make sure that they're completely dead and don't come up. If they want to grow again, that we have the weed killer spray and then we have the weed screen as well to make sure no water uh, and no sunlight gets to them so that it doesn't grow anymore. So, but cultivating really does the trick. Uh, I've used it before to kill all of the weeds and other things like that and it really really does the trick. So once I was done with that I decided to blow everything back in or just try to clean up the area quite a bit and just make sure everything is in because uh, once I get the weed screen out uh, everything will be kind of set up and be stuck there so uh, I just wanted to go in and make sure to like pick up any kind of weeds that I could here as well and then from there uh, just rake everything up a little bit, um, and then we can start with our weed killer. So I just went through and sprayed this quite a few times. I only videotaped a little bit, but I, I went back and forth a few times because I think this is a really important piece of this to just make sure that you uh, go in and out quite a bit and spray a lot of it down um, prior to laying down this weed screen. So here we got the weed screen out. So um, I had this from a previous project. So luckily I could just, I had the perfect amount, which worked out perfectly. And then you just use those little tent spikes and you just push those guys in to stabilize it and keep it in place. Those things are really long and keep it um, well stabilized underneath uh, the P rocks that we're gonna be using a little bit later on in here. So uh, this was, a little tricky, although it was like kind of like a perfect fit for this project. 
um, just cutting everything into kind of this rectangular um, square. This rect <laughs> this rectangle uh, was a little bit tricky, just making sure to you know measure it out and cut it perfectly. Um, made a few incorrect tears, but overall did really good. I used those spikes to just stabilize it quite a bit on each of the corners uh, and try to stretch it out so that it wasn't wrinkled at all uh, throughout the throughout the wrap here. Once I got the weed screen on, it was pretty much go time for the uh, perimeter that we got at Home Depot. I really like how it turned out. I really like the wood feel. It kind of matched uh, our situation, but it really depends on your situation. Uh, one other thing to note is that if you have like a drainage issue or something like that, make sure to spray on top of this area after you get all the, the pea rocks in and just test your, tra your drainage and just see if it uh, works out or if you need to kind of dig out a drainage line uh, to get all the water out but anyway yeah we used about i think 12 of these bags so quite a few we had we had such a big space um i'm not sure if you're gonna need that many in your space but i wanted to get at least uh one to two inches of, of cover because i think you do lose a little bit uh, as time goes by all right so we just got our puppy phil he is awesome but uh the beginning was very difficult he did not know what this area was but what we did was just continue to give him treats and continue to wake him up on his naps and any time that we could to out to this area and, and give him treats anytime he went pee. And after a lot of training, he finally did it. He's been doing it quite a bit. Uh, we don't have a leash on him yet because he's so small, but he is killing it. And we love this potty area. He is just loving this little area. I hope you guys enjoyed meeting my pup, Phil. And I hope this helps you guys make a potty area for yourself in a DIY fashion. Thank you guys so much for visiting the channel and please like and subscribe. Thanks.